What comes to mind when you think of sardines? Some people give you a big smile and then other people are like, ugh, sardines. But sardines are really, really good for you there, rich in protein, a great source of calcium, um, omega-3 fatty acids, uh, and lots of really good minerals for you, niacin, uh, potassium, so on, right? So sardines are super healthy. Today, we're gonna make it really fun. So we're gonna get a couple of eggs, a couple of cans of sardines, a little baking powder, a little flour, uh, and we're gonna prepare sardine fritters. Come over, cook it now. These are the ingredients you'll need for the sardine fritters. Two cans of sardines, two eggs, need an onion, sweet pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, black pepper, salt, flour and baking powder, along with some coconut oil. This should make about a dozen fritters. We start off with finely chopping the onion. You'll probably need only a half though. Then cut up the scotchy. Don't cut the seeds or the pit into this. You want the flavor, not the heat. We've got a large sweet pepper here, so you won't need much. One side will do. Cut it into long strips and then dice it. My cutting technique is a bit unorthodox, so please be careful when you're doing this at home. It's time for us to flake the sardines. Put them in a bowl and use a fork to just kind of smash it out. Next, we mix in the pepper and the onion with the sardines, and right after that, we we'll add the first of two eggs and we continue mixing. Next, we mix in the sweet pepper and you add the second egg. Adding salt and black pepper are optional, so use them sparingly. We have a quarter cup of flour here. Don't add it all at once. Introduce small portions and keep mixing just to ensure the batter doesn't get too thick. Add the baking powder and keep mixing. This is a 1 8 tablespoon of um, baking powder. And this is the consistency I want, so now it's time to fry the butter. So you heat oil in a frying pan on medium to high heat, then spoon in small portions of the butter. And you just use the back of the spoon to gently flatten them in the pan. After about three to five minutes, it should start getting a crispy brownish looking crust. That means it's time to flip them and cook on the other side for another three to five minutes or until you see that crispy brownish looking crust. Now, of course, when they're done, you just remove them from the frying pan Put them on a paper towel to drain the excess oil. And then once they've cooled, just for a little bit, it's time to enjoy them nice and warm. Sardine fritters. Hope you enjoyed the way we prepared our sardine fritters today. Try it at home, right? Good for breakfast, it's good for a nice little lunch snack. You can get the kids involved, it's really super easy. And the most important thing about sardines is Sardines are healthy for you, really good for your heart, really good for your cardiovascular system, right? So try it at home, post it, share it. Uh, let me know how it go when you do it. But uh, thank you so much for joining today. Take care.